Hello, my name is Jenna Cayley, and I'm the Program Coordinator for Lake Agassi Regional Library. Thank you for joining us for a conversation and demonstration of the art of henna with Master Cosmetologist Sejal Patel. If you would like to try this at home, visit a Lake Agassi Regional Library location near you to pick up a henna cone prepared by Sejal along with step-by-step -step instructions, which you can also download at larl.org backslash art of henna. These items are available while supplies last. This program is paid for in part by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Please let us know if you liked learning about this art form and trying it at home by filling out a quick survey at larl.org slash legacy survey. Hi everyone, my name is Sejal Patel and today I will be going over to some techniques on applying henna. Before I begin, I will just go over some background and on how this beautiful natural art technique came to be. The art is also known as Mandi in Indian language Hindi. Can you guess uh, how old, how many years ago this technique has around, uh, around been for? Do you think it's 100 years, 200 years? or maybe longer if you i will just say if you're thinking it's just 500 years you are still pretty off uh, it's um because in fact this is about 5000 to 9000 years ago mm -hmm. some says traces has been found in mummified bodies of cleopatra and we know that it's very old while we are using henna nowadays as a temporary tattoo on us on our skin it was used in past for its natural properties for centuries many people living in warm hot weather they apply henna on their bodies to keep their body uh, to keep their body temperature in the heat cool as long as the henna stain remain on their skin they feel the cooling sensation until the henna is stays on their skin it was even a it was even a great medicine due to its healing properties uh, before lab made medicine people have uh, used henna to heal headaches stomach pain burns fevers and even hair loss henna comes from a plant about 6 to 15 feet height the leaves of this plant get dried, crushed, and then make a paste, and we make cone like this, and put henna paste inside. Uh, this, just this plant have the ability to do our skin, fabric, hair, um, color, uh, as a completely natural and harmless manner. This plant contain lossum binds, uh, Lossum, which is reddish orange dye that binds in the keratin on our skin. The stain can be from pale orange to a reddish brown orange, uh, burgundy, depending on the skin tone. In India, it is believed that the deeper the color of henna on the bride's hand, uh, the better would be her relationship with the mother-in-law. In some places it says, in some places it is also said to signify the strength of love between wives and grooms. <laughs> Many traditional designs are secret symbols of um, prosperity, love, loyalty, and good luck. Ancient time when they don't have jewelries and all, they used to put henna and decorate their bodies. They put on nails because they don't have nail polish. They put yeah. on nails and uh, so it colored natural way. And they don't need to use acetone and all. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I will start some henna tattoo on you then. Yeah. So in every cone, they have one needle kind of or pin you need to take out first and then mix your cone like 
slight hand, not very, don't push it, otherwise it comes all out. <laughs> so, just mix it first. Sometimes these cone does not come out, sometimes it is air inside. So, you need to put, you need to take tissue paper and just push it on first tissue paper and check your cone first that it works, the air comes out and then you can start putting your designs. Generally in India, uh, in Indian uh, language they have very ad intricate designs. Um, in Africa, they are using geometrical designs. In Arabic, they are using flowers, leaves. So, uh, if you need thicker designs, you can cut also. But this is, I am just putting very thin designs. So, mm -hmm. so, I will start Jenna a little bit here. So I notice some of the paste that you're applying, you're applying thicker and some lines are very thin. Does that change how the stain develops? Um, thinner, um, I mean, it gets uh, color every, every, even thick or thin. Mm -hmm. But if you want to put thin line, you need to push little less. If thicker line, you need to press push little more so it it comes more thickness or if you don't want to do that you can make two lines thinner first and you can fill like this mm. uh, or you can push like this and it's like thick line like this way Does the skin need to be prepared in any way before applying yeah, paste? Yeah, before uh, applying paste, you need to wash very properly. So, no lotion or nothing left or any other, if you put it, uh, nothing, it is no very oils. clean, no oils. Mm -hmm. So, the color comes nice then. And what is mixed with the powdered henna plant to make the paste? So, this is uh, this is the natural henna. It is like this kind of powder. Mm -hmm. Then we mix in this um, black tea water mm. and little bit sugar and eucalyptus oil and we mix it all to together and put in this then. Yeah. So you said before a wedding hmm. is a very traditional time to apply henna for a bride. Yeah. What are some of the designs that a bride would ap have applied? In India, they put very interrogated designs like this mm -hmm. and mostly they use flowers, leaves, very small flowers, leaves, paisleys, peacocks, like those kind of, and they put, nowadays and for fun, they put uh, groom and one in one hand bride and one hand groom which looks nice <laughs> yeah but for brides they put like this kind of designs So, if you put um, at night, it is better. So, you can mess up and how much longer you kept on your hand, it is darker the color it comes. So, if you put half an hour, it comes less. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should, you need to put like 
keep it on hand for six to seven hours at least. So mostly brides they put in evening time, so whole night they put it on hand, keep it on hand, and then next day they take it off. Are there any strategies that a bride would use to keep the paste from flaking off at night? Yeah, because these thin thin lines it flakes off. Mm -hmm. Thicker still it sticks on your skin. So they put lemon and lemon water they take and put little bit sugar inside and then they dab with cotton ball like this. Mm. So it because of sugar and lemon it stick there. It so seals yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't come off and it stays for seven, eight hours there. That way a bride can have a dark design. Yeah. So her mother in law is not worried. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right now in this uh, I'm making a line and flowers, mostly using that. I also noticed you started the design further away from you so you can work towards you. Yeah, right. So you don't smudge then. Yeah, so brides keep uh, start from here. We start from here. So uh, for bride, first uh, it comes and then we will go down here. Work towards the finger. But tip. more darker color comes on palm, the lighter comes here yeah. <laughs> because we have more keratin um, in our palms mm -hmm. more cells so here it comes darker. <laughs> Speaking of dark henna, can you talk about um, some cultures use black henna and what the diff, it's really not henna right? right? What that difference is? Be careful with that henna, that is not the natural henna black henna is a, a very it's a dye and it's very harsh chemical in that so be careful to use when you are if if you are doing first try a little patch on your corner of your skin and then do because a lot of people get big bubbles on their skin with that an yeah. allergic reaction yeah allergic reactions so but this, the plant is very safe and has been yeah. used for centuries. Yeah. Thousands of years. Yeah, 5,000, 9,000 yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> they find, yeah, they find in Cleopatra mummies, so. That's amazing. I haven't mm. heard that before. So this is a paisley? Yeah, a paisley, shape. yeah. So some flowers, paisley, circles. Nowadays they put anything, but um, that time it's this is the traditional designs they are using, mm -hmm. which I'm showing right now. And in um, Africa they are using geometrical designs like yeah triangles, triangles and, and yeah, more lines zigzag yeah yeah. So in Africa, would they mix, uh, you said, black tea water and eucalyptus oil in other regions? Would they mix different things to make the henna paste? No, same. Uh, Pretty much the yeah, same? Yeah, same this. But that black henna is a dye, so. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned peacock is a common motif. Is there a symbolism with the peacock? So all these designs have their um, meanings at that time. Mm -hmm. Peacock have loyalty, loyalty, luck. So paisleys have different meanings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Some are for prosperity. Even in Moroccans, uh, they, they put henna on their doors. 
uh, to bring the good luck, uh, prosperity in their home, and uh, away from the evils. <laughs> and yeah, keep evil out. Yeah. <laughs> On the door. Yeah, on the door they are putting designs with this. So when you apply henna to the skin, hmm. we know our skin is always regenerating and so the design fades and goes away eventually. If you apply it to fingernails, does it have to grow out, that nail grow out, or does it fade on your fingernails? Uh, if you put here, uh, the stain stays, stay, uh, stays there and it it comes out like, I think after one month or one month? and a half month, okay. yeah. <laughs> it goes lighter, little by little, mm -hmm. yeah. But it goes, but it takes more time for nails. Mm -hmm. But skin, it comes little in three, four weeks around, yeah. They can start with small flowers, leaves, um, yeah, base leaves. Just on paper, you can start on paper first and then on hand. That's much easier for beginners. And sometimes if, if you go like this, something wrong, you can take it out with some tissue paper or with the help of your nail, mm -hmm. yeah. So, but if it stays longer time, then you can't remove the stain. But if you do quick, yeah, it goes away. <laughs> Do you feel some cooling sensation in your body? Yes, it so does So this feel is cool. the natural uh, cooling sensation from henna. Yeah. Nowadays people put with henna like cobra, snakes and different designs, turtle I am putting like for kids, turtle, butterflies. So it will dry in 30 to 40 minutes, so you need to be ensured until that time. Uh, nothing you should be careful on this area <laughs> mm -hmm. doesn't touch anything so now I'm showing here how African are doing designs geometrical designs If you want to do thicker line, you can go again on that same line. So, like this, if you go again on the same line, it goes thicker. Mm -hmm. So, beginners can do um, on paper, they can draw the hand and then they, they can do henna practice in that. Mm -hmm. hmm. So this kind of like designs they are using in Africa and now I am showing here like how they are using in, using in Arab country, Arabic designs. They are using like big flowers mm -hmm. and leaves. So these kind uh, kind of designs uh, dry fast, but these take so much time. These yeah. one. So um, after dry, don't do not put water on this. Do not wash it. Just scrape it off with the butter knife from the opposite side and scrape it off. And do not put put water like 12 to 15 hours if you can, 
or 24 hours, it gets, first it's light orange, but then it goes darker and darker until next day, it goes dark. Some people, they like to do all fingers, same design. Some likes different de design. Mm -hmm. Some just want little bit here only, around the nails. Do clients usually come with a picture of what they want or is it often up to the artist? Uh, some, they say whatever you put, any, because any design looks nice in this, so anything you put, it comes nice. <laughs> but some like to do their own, they uh, show me the design and then I will do. <laughs> so see, this is now dry, it's flaking off because it's thinner design. So I bring um, lemon and sugar water. So you can put with a cotton ball or with tissue paper. Just lightly dab it like this. So the design doesn't fall, it stay there. Just little dab. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is wet, so I'm not putting here, but this is dry. <laughs> so this is how geometrical designs they are using in Africa that what I am just doing on this portion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to move a little like, thank you. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot about the history and use of henna through this presentation, and I hope you did too. Please take our quick survey at larl.org slash legacy survey to let us know what you thought. Check with your local Lake Agassiz Regional Library location for the supplies, instructions, and even to check out books for more henna design inspiration. Thank you again for joining us.